So this little kitty in a tree. Very cute pose. I'm just kind of mapping out the shapes here. And I've sped it up to twice the speed. Just getting a feel for where those ears go. Just basic shapes at this stage. We'll get into the important details later. And when I say important details, it's because not all the details are important. We want to choose our details carefully. We don't want to have too much information in our drawing. Focal points is what we think of. And there's that paw going down. And I really try to work lightly at this stage because that way, if I have to change things, it's easy to erase. Let's get those paws in. I love this pose with those little claws clinging to the tree. And some lines on the face for to help me place the features. because this can be a bit of a tricky perspective for the face. So I'm feeling it out carefully. Now I'll start to darken up the lines that I do like. And the extra lines will just kind of fade away as I go on and they'll become part of the background tone. The link for our cat drawing art workshop on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. You will find that in the video description below. And if you really are passionate about drawing cats, I do hope you join. We'd be happy to have you help us build the community. Really careful at this stage, deciding which lines I want and which lines would be too much information, too distracting. Pause and contemplate if you have to. And I'm really aiming for energy flow throughout the drawing. Remember when you're putting in that line for the eyes that you're also shaping the cat's, the roundness of the cat's head. You're in a sense sculpting. Think of it as sculpting that snout. And I go by the photograph, but more importantly, by what feels right. If something doesn't look uncomfortable, then I just kind of decide why not and proceed to change it to what it should look like. Keeping in mind it never has to be perfect. It's the little imperfections that add the character. You can overdo the lines on facial features so easily. We don't want the background eye to stand out as much as the foreground eye, otherwise it just looks wrong. And I always try to squeak a little smirk in there. I didn't like that too much. Need to change things a little here. That's better. I 
again, we don't want the background eye to stand out as much. So I'm putting a little more de detail and a little more darkness into the eye that is closer to us. And we don't want to overdo the nose lines either. And I'm not adding any nostrils in this drawing. We know they're there. Simplify. It's not about the nostrils. It's just about the cute little cat nose. And it's so easy to overdo the nostrils. And a lot of people do. And then they just stand right out like a sore thumb. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you help us build the community. So hit subscribe, hit that little bell, and you'll help us build an awesome community of cat drawing artists. Toes. And again with the claws, just a hint. But I felt the claws were pretty important detail in this drawing because that's how the kitty's clinging to the tree. And we gotta add that tree in here pretty soon too. Some little toe lines. And we'll show off some of those cute little toe beans too. If there's anything in particular that you want to learn about cat drawing, please drop me a comment. I get my ideas from viewers. So if you let me know what you want to learn about cat drawing, drawing I will do my best to get it on there. Tabby stripes again, they also help shape the face, shape the roundness of the cat's head. Just hints here. They also can add a lot of expression. We'll get that tree in there. I've sped it up a little more now, finish things off. I'm not putting a bunch of detail on the tree, just a hint. And it might be difficult to tell that this is actually a tree if you didn't know. It could be something else, but that's okay. The point is Kitty's climbing and the focus needs to be on Kitty. We just need to give Kitty something to be on. We'll add some whiskers. So check out the cat drawing links in the com in the video description below and I hope you join our Facebook group and I hope you subscribe to the channel and I hope you drop me a comment about what you want to learn about cat drawing or just tell me about your cat or tell me where you are in the world I'd love to hear from you thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time